Now's the time on Sprockets when we dance. Uh, that music means it's time for our emerging tech column. Uh, every month we dive into a trend or a topic related to, uh, well, you know, the internet or emerging technology. And let's be honest right now, mostly that means talking about AI these days. And we're joined in studio by Chris Krug. He is the founder of Future Proof Creatives. Um, and today, sort of Olympic adjacent. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Stephen. Nice to see you. How you doing? Good to see you too, man. Great. Uh, we're not talking about sports exactly, but we're going to talk about music. Um, but there is a Paris connection here. Yeah, that's right. We've had a couple uh, Parisian artists in town for the last month doing an art residency here with the SFU Meta Creation Lab and the French Consulate. And so that's got me rubbing brains with two really cool creative souls here over the last little while. And what kind of stuff are we talking about here? What have they been doing? Well, I'll show you here in a minute. I prepared a clip. I had them out at the Vancouver AI meetup last week at my studio, and they shared with us some, um, one guy who makes experimental music with his body. He essentially breaks sensors out of Roombas and Xboxes and then 3D prints housings for them, attaches them to his body, and then dances or moves around. Uh, the movements of his body and the gyroscopes and stuff make yeah. sensor data, and then he applies AI on top of that that creates music in real time as he moves around. And the other guy makes uh, dance music, essentially, traditional techno dance music, but using all sorts of generated effects and sounds and stuff and ties it all together. So I've got a clip here of uh, Quentin Nolo dancing with his AI-generated music sensors. Okay, I want to hear it. Let's hear it. So lately, I've been working on different uh, tools to use movements as a source of uh, music generation. So you can't exactly, for everyone who can't see that, that's, you know, him yeah. dancing around the studio with these uh, sensors on his body that's generating the sounds that you hear and stuff. And then, you know, when the performance is over, he has all that data and then can continue to uh, remix the data in different ways to make music out of it and stuff. And, and that's using things like, I mean, there are obviously the things like proximity sensors from Roombas. LIDARs, gyroscopes, things like that are embedded in all these um, consumer technologies. That is really cool, actually. Yeah. And, and it's quite physical by the looks of it. I mean, he sort of had a special glove apparatus on and it was he was playing with his, his arm and getting it down to the floor. And then... Nothing the guy uses is off the shelf. So he makes gloves and belts and different sensors he can attach to hats and stuff and all of those things generate data that the music can be made out of. Okay, so, so here we have um, AI in the music industry being used for good rather than evil um, <laughs> yes. because we know that a lot of musicians are worried about AI. Well, hey, it does things very well. It makes music really great quite easily. And, you know, there's a whole range of uh, different ways people are doing it these days, from experimental stuff like Quentin Nello mm -hmm. to more consumer stuff like going into a website, putting in a few prompts and keywords and generating whole songs. I've made a couple for you. Have you? Yeah, I kind of was tinkering around a little bit, trying to make some jingles for the show here. Okay. Yeah, the first one is, uh, you know, maybe more traditional, much you might expect. I think the keyword prompting was folk, Canadiana, radio show opening, something like that. Okay. Let's have a listen. Where the okay, so it, it, these are AI generated lyrics. Yeah, your producer Sophie and I started off with some just basic lyrics, ran through AI a couple of times. Um, the most work I had to do was trying to get it to pronounce Slaywatooth properly, <laughs> which it couldn't in the end. So I went from Squamish, Musqueam, and Slaywatooth to First Nations land. But yeah, it was a mix of AI and us writing the lyrics and then going to the site udio.com, uh -huh. putting in our lyrics and starting to mess around with prompts. We probably generated about 50 songs um, in order to figure out some of the stuff we were liking and which direction we wanted to go. Um, check out the next one. It's a little bit different. Good morning, back to when I stop the day ride. Mercy me. 
Um, wow, that's awesome. That's like um, that's the Detroit version of uh, of the early edition. Yeah, and I've been using this for all sorts of things, from like my personal little TikTok videos and stuff to different, you know, prank songs I'm sending back and forth. A couple of guys, I don't even send them voicemails anymore. I just record them a song or like a rap disc battle track, something like that. You know, it's a lot of a lot of fun to mess around with. And this is called Udio? This is called Udio. There's a very similar one called Suno, and they're both um, really easy to use. It's amazing what you can create. I got, you got time for one more outlier? Yeah, let's hear it. All right, man. Here's one more I was thinking. Let's start the day right. Early edition zone. Wake up and be free. Steve Quinn's voice got to rain and fall. From Cox to Scott Train, we're all tuning in. On first station's lands, our stories begin. City calls quick. It's just like, but but it's just kind of randomly saying Vancouver stuff, you know? It's like, you know, Chip Wilson and has a big house and Ken Sim is the mayor and, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, hey, we ran it through GPT a couple of times, That's and we were just trying to provide a demo here, but you can make any lyrics you want, and it can, uh, it'll make various songs out of it, too, you know? I don't think, um, I don't think we're going to replace our theme with any of these anytime soon. I'm fired? No, no, you're not <laughs> fired. I'm just saying that, you know, it's... Uh... I, I'm I don't okay. think the goal is to replace musicians or composers here in this way. It's a great way to experiment with things, to brainstorm, to um, you know put down tracks on videos and other types of things where we're not bringing in custom yeah. music anyway. But but how much can it actually do? I mean, like when the, you know we heard the sort of folky version, it was basically like three chords, and you know, and, and is is that a random, uh, a randomly generated AI voice that was doing the singing there? Yes, it's a randomly generated voice, and actually, you have very granular control over it. If you just natural language talking to the song, so you can say humming in the beginning, or a building intro, or bass drop here, you can add all these things in between the lyrics to control exactly what comes out, or, you know, choir of trumpets, stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, you have very, very creative <laughs> granular control. And, and, and so were, were you, I mean, I know that this was sort of a novelty you were working on, but when you work on your own stuff, I mean, are you producing stuff you're happy with? I take these things and then I pull them apart so that I have the audio tracks, the bass tracks, and other components of the music. And I often use different components and mix and match them, layering them together and compositing them to make original works. Right. Stems, as we would, yeah, exactly. as we would call them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, Chris, that's fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for bringing it in. And uh, and again, I appreciate the effort uh, with you and Sophie. Uh, I'm not going to replace the theme with any of those anytime soon. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Stephen. I, think, I don't think there needs to be lyrics in the theme. I'll keep working on it. <laughs> Okay, give us like a like a super hot techno version of you know a, a, like an '80s techno version. You've known me long enough. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I like this song. This is Crystal Fighters. Chris, great to see you. Thank you so much. Good to see you too. Thanks again, Stephen. <laughs> 